Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, we have a new product from Luigi, the RGES105D. This is a 5-port advantage switch, and I would like to say thanks to our friends from Luigi for making this video review possible. Without further ado, let us unbox the unit. We have a warranty card and a quick start guide, a power brick, the actual unit itself. Okay, first impression, this is relatively a small switch and easy to store and carry if you have a LAN party to attend, you can actually bring this one, just hide it in your pocket. It's relatively small. Okay, for the build quality, it is great, small, and I think it's durable because of the metal casing. There is no fans installed inside and absolutely this one will be quiet and won't distract you from the fan noise. And lastly, this is just plug and play. Okay. I have been saying a lot about this switch, but what does it actually do? The primary use of this switch is to provide more LAN connection if you run out of ports from your modern router. Like, for example, if your modern router or mostly most modern router actually provides four additional LAN ports for your devices to connect. Like, you can have uh, two TVs, one desktop, and one third-party Wi-Fi router with LAN cables, and that's it. You are already out of ports. What if you have five desktop and two TVs? Yes, you can actually buy a wireless LAN for your desktop and the problem is solved, but not so easy. Yes, that will work, but hardwired LAN cable is more stable compared to wireless network. Even though I try to review wireless router and wireless everything, hardwired is the best connection as possible if you have um, access to a LAN cable that will be great. And that's why data centers, servers, tons of servers are using LAN cable or maybe fiber optic for their connection. Okay, so how do you set this switch? Lucky for us, this is just an unmanaged switch, which is plug and play. Okay, just plug in the power adapter on the switch. Okay, and of course the other end on your roll outlet. Then plug a LAN cable from your router or source of internet or maybe just another switch to any port of the ES105D. I can plug it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but I'll just plug it on the fifth so it will be easier for me to see or troubleshoot. Okay, then after that one, connect your devices to any port as well. Okay, like for this one, this is directly connected to my workstation. I can plug it on any port and I'll have my connection already. And that's it. How about, let us try to check the actual connection speed. We will get and the transfer speed that we will also get from this switch. Okay guys, now let us try to check the actual speed that we will be able to get using this switch. It is indicated on the box that it is capable of 100 Mbps and let's just make sure that it will give us 100 Mbps of speed. Right now, there are three connections. Red, blue, and this one is directly connected to our laptop while the red one is directly connected to our main modem router or our source of internet while the blue one is directly connected to our server and let's try to check on the laptop on what it will actually show us on the connection okay and as you can see right now the speed is 100 megabits per second okay and we, we are able to get that actual speed as expected Okay, and close this one, and let's us try to transfer a file from this laptop to the server. This is a remote, this is the server, and I'll try to transfer a 3 gigabytes of file on the server. Okay, move it there, and okay, and as you can see, it is already transferring the file, and try to check this one out. This is the actual or the average transfer speed that we are able to get. It's around 11 megabytes per second transfer speed. Okay, I'd just like to remind you, this is megabytes. That the one in the connection tab is actually megabits per second, okay? M, capital M, BPS. Well, this one is capital M, I, capital B, S, okay? And that will be the maximum transfer speed that we will be able to get using that switch. It was able to provide us with the actual speed and the maximum transfer speed is around 11 megabytes per second. Now, for my recommendation, who is this actually for? 
This RG-ES105D is for users who want an additional ports and have less than 100 Mbps of internet connection. Because if you have more than 100 Mbps of internet connection from your ISP, the maximum speed that you'll be able to get from the switch, or meaning the devices that will be connected to the switch, is just 100 Mbps. But honestly, that 100 Mbps is more than enough for a workstation or even a TV. Gaming would not need more than 10 Mbps, while 4K streaming at average needs 15 to 25 Mbps or maybe more, but you still have 100 Mbps. But if you're planning to use this on a server or maybe you want to utilize that more than 100 Mbps, Ruiji actually offers gigabit unmanaged switch like the RGES 105GD. Okay, it's the same 5 port unmanaged switch, but it is capable of gigabit connection. But for home use, streaming, browsing, online work, this will save you a lot of money and it is reliable because it's from Luigi. I think that will be all for now. If you have comments and suggestions, comment down below or message me at jkchavisonfd. Again guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye!